This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. Hey everyone, Sarah Hanlon here with the iPhoneAppReview.com, and today we're taking a look at Bubbly Walrus, which is a really fun multiplication game for iPhone and iPad. It's available to download from the App Store for $1.99. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it works. So this is the main screen of Bubbly Walrus, and it's where you can essentially start the game or check out social media pages and game settings. So to start, tap the play button, and you can see you're taken to a level select screen that's somewhat reminiscent of Candy Crush. You can see there are a ton of levels in Bubbly Walrus, uh, so kids won't be able to play through it incredibly quickly. Uh, to select a level, tap on it, and one of the things that I really like about Bubbly Walrus is if there's a new concept or method being added uh, to the game based on the level you're playing on, the game shows you a really nice animated tutorial that kind of gives you an idea of what the game wants from you. So this is great for young kids who learn by watching, um, helps them complete the level with ease. So to play, you can see what's required, two times one, so take the two bubble, drag it down, two times two, four, two times three, six. And levels are timed, as you can see up at the top of the screen. And if you happen to complete a level in time without any errors, you'll receive a three star rating and also a chance to collect a collectible card for that level. And we'll talk about collectible cards a bit later on. So we'll go ahead and play through another level. Um, one of the levels we're going to pick next is the boss level. And this is the cool thing about Bubbly Walrus is that there are bosses that are very difficult to complete. So you can see by level 6 we reach a boss. And this is the robotic gorilla boss. Uh, he's a really tough guy, so kids will kind of be excited about this. That um, you know, There's a tough boss to beat. So... What we have to do is we have to tap his stomach a bunch of times to reveal the number that we have to make multiples of. Nice. And that's how we beat the gorilla boss. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to talk while doing it, but it's more important to show you <laughs> what the level does. So, again, like I said before, at the end of the level, you will receive your score, as well as a collectible card for the level. So we'll go ahead and play through one more level, just to show you how uh, Bubbly Walrus kind of varies between levels, and it does have a cool storyline behind it. Uh, the overall goal of Bubbly Walrus is you're playing through levels in order to help the walrus save his girlfriend who is kidnapped by bad guys. Ready? You can see how the level scenery changes, and in this one, power-ups are introduced, and they're activated by tapping on the bubbles, and you can see, all of a sudden, our bubbles are colored to indicate where they can go, so it helps kids kind of complete the level faster. So once again, we've received our performance report, if you will, how we've completed the level. And um, as I mentioned before, if you complete a level with no errors and you know, in time, you'll receive a collectible card for that level. Um, but as I mentioned before, there's a catch. And that catch is kids can't collect the card unless they share their accomplishment on social media. For me, personally, I feel that an educational game like Bubbly Walrus really shouldn't rely so heavily on social media integration. Um, that's just a personal opinion, but um, I really kind of am on the fence about this feature. Personally, I think it'd be much better if there was like an additional challenge that kids had to go through in order to collect the card, or because they completed the level perfectly, they should just get the card. Um, but that's just um, one of the drawbacks about Bubbly Walrus. As far as overall thoughts on Bubbly Walrus, 
it's really a fantastic multiplication game that has a lot of playability potential. Uh, it's a great way for kids to practice their multiplication skills, but like I mentioned before, the only drawback is really heavy social media integration and the inability to collect those collectible cards without uh, you know, having to share on social media. Uh, again, Bubbly Walrus is available to download from the App Store for $1.99 and is universally compatible with iPhone and iPad. This has been Sarah Hanlon with the iPhoneAppReview.com taking a look at Bubbly Walrus. Till next time!